good. Someone's getting shot at. Maybe they're killing the cow. <laughs> Here we go. All right, you guys, what's going on? We're in Jukebox here at the Big Texan. And we're about to, well, I'm about to embark on the... Hey, how you doing, too? The 72-ounce uh, steak challenge. Yeah. So we're going to see if I can do it or not. That 72-ounce steak is bigger and he is tall, so... I... Are you leaving? We're going to see. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, dude, I yeah, am so starving. We're here. I am starving. And uh, we're gonna see what's up, man. We're gonna I see am what's starving. Up. All right, so check it out. So here are the rules for the 72 ounce steak challenge dinner. Say so number one: the entire meal must be completed within one hour. If any of the meal is not consumed, swallowed, you lose. Before the time starts, you'll be allowed to cut into the steak and take one bite. If the steak tastes good and is cooked to your satisfaction, you will start the time upon acceptable approval. The time will not stop and the contest is on. So make sure before you say yes, you obviously are good to go. Uh, once you have started, you are not allowed to stand up, leave the table, or have anyone else touch the meal. You will be disqualified if anyone assists you in cutting, preparing, or eating the meal. You do not have to eat the fat, but will, but we will judge this. Should you become ill, the contest is over, you lose. You are required to pay the full amount up front if you win, we will refund you 100%. You must sit at a table that we assign. You do not, if you do not win the state challenge, you are welcome to take the leftovers with you. No consumption or sharing of the leftovers is allowed in the restaurant once the contest is over. So yeah, so this is going to be interesting. And at a same table? Well, well, no, no. Not soon. No, no. Right here is fine. Tell it's too tell close him. to me. Don't make me move. If you refuse to move, because I might sneak, I might, no, I, I don't know. Let's ask I don't know. Him. No, we'll ask him. Well, wait, because yeah. Mr. Jukebox over here says that they're going to make me move my seat and make me go sit up there at the stage alone with the timer running in and all that stuff. Yeah. Now, I can see that being a thing if it was a very busy day and there was a bunch of crazy 72-ounce steak challenge people in here, but... I don't know if there's anybody else in here doing it right now, and I don't want to sit up there alone and eat by myself. It'll be a center of attention. <laughs> I don't really need to be the center of attention. This is why I wanted to come here with somebody. I, I didn't want to come here alone yeah. and be like, I'm ready to eat a little fucking pig. You know, let's just do this, you know, right now. So, hopefully, that's not the case. All right, so, we'll so check it out. We have a problem. Lion frame. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, waving I'm pointing the camera at me. Anyway, so here's the problem. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not trying to... Larry says I'm being shy. Here's the situation. So, in fact, you have to go and sit up there at the stage. And you have to do it. And I would be doing it alone, basically. And I don't want to do it alone. I didn't want, I, I, I purposely have not come here because I didn't want to do it alone. Had I known you have to sit at a special table, I would have asked Larry to do it. Well, I, I did ask Mr. Trucker Jukebox to do it with me, 
I mean, look at him go over here. He's eating his steak over here, Mr. 18 ounces. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're tearing it up. You know, and I said to him, listen, I don't want to go up there and sit there alone. And, you know, this is a Tuesday afternoon. This place isn't jumping crazy like a Friday night, you know. And nobody's going to care. What, and I didn't want to be like the center of attention all alone. So I even offered to pay Jukebox to pay for his 72 ounce steak. Because you got to pay for it up front. It's like $72. So a dollar, you know dollar an ounce I was gonna say look I know you say you can't finish it that's fine take it take the leftovers and give it to the dog just sit up there with me and eat it with me sit with me you know he's like no nah, I don't want it I, I so he didn't want to sit up there and eat the 72 ounce steak I didn't want to sit up there and eat it alone so I ordered the second biggest steak they have which is 48 to 50 two ounces you got a big one like that yeah. yeah i said listen i don't want to i don't want to sit up there all alone not that I, and, and like, like he he thinks i'm being shy about it it's just like this place is pretty much empty i don't want to be up there all by myself if he you was, know having the challenge like I, I if it was going to be like what i thought you got to come here like on a friday night when it's rowdy and there's everybody going crazy and there's other contestants up there with you if you if you have an eight if you, if you haven't ate in four days, you don't went up there, though. Well, I didn't have breakfast on purpose to prepare for the meal. Mm. But I'm not sitting up there all by my damn self like a spaz while everybody in here on a Tuesday afternoon is going, Look at this idiot. I you know what I'm saying? I'm, just, I'm, I'm being honest. I'm being honest. I didn't want to do it alone. I thought Larry was going to do it with me. He chickened out. He couldn't do it. I never said I was No, do you chickened out on me. <laughs> everybody... Make sure you tear up Larry in the comments. You're shy. Tear up Larry in the comments. I offered to pay for the meal and that he could give to the dogs afterwards, but he didn't want to do it. And I didn't want to do it alone because it's just, you know, you, he is, wanted company it's, a, to eat it's a monumental moment. He didn't want a company to eat with. I yeah, I, want to call, I don't want to eat alone. You know, that's so weird, you know? Exactly. If there was somebody else up there doing it or there was somebody else in the restaurant, that was about to do it, then yeah, it would have been a challenge, really, because oh, I wouldn't have known who that person was, you know? Yeah. But uh, I said, who the hell wants to eat alone, especially during a challenge like that? You know what I mean? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Comment below. Let me know what you think. So, now I'm waiting on my steak to get here. I don't be little. I know why you did what you did. Tell him why. He's a chicken shit. <laughs> His son of a you know, as they're preparing <laughs> my... What did I order, anyway? Like I said, I ordered the the biggest, second biggest thing that I could legally eat here at this table. See, because I'm, I'm going to turn the camera around real quick and show you guys. See that table up there? I was showing you guys in the last clip. That table right there, it's got the timers up there and all that good stuff. But I want you to take a look at the restaurant right now and just hear the ambiance in here. It's really not crowded. The music is real soft and subtle. I'd be up there eating that steak by myself. Yeah, but man, honestly, honestly, it cleared out a little bit. I know, there but like I said, it would be more fun if, if you were at least with me. Or if at least it was like a Friday night, Saturday night, everybody's getting all rowdy in here and cheering people on. I don't think anybody would be cheering me on in here right now. Well, except you. Me. I can't even eat a full 18 ounce. What do you got there? What, you got 18 ounces, you said? Uh, 18 ounces, and that's, I can't eat no more. I'm full. Really? You're full already? But I had the shrimp there. Full of shit. Potato. Full of shit, he is. Yeah. Sorry about that. But yeah, we're still waiting on my steak to uh, get finished up. Uh, it's a bone in. What type of cut was it? Do you remember? Like a fillet. Oh, fillet. I think fillet. it was a fillet. So, it's supposed to be huge. So. If I could do this, and I had an appetizer too, don't tell nobody. I had mozzarella sticks, oh, you and did? I'm about to have this steak. So if I could do this steak and the mozzarella sticks, the next time I come back here, I should have no problem yeah. with the 72 ounce. But anyway, I feel I feel really bad because I'm gonna have to title this video 72 ounce steak fail. No, because or, you didn't try it. You didn't fail. Because you couldn't didn't try. The steak couldn't, wouldn't, I don't know. No, I would have titled it 72 ounce 
they filled because I was too damn shy to be by myself. Bitch. We'll be right back. I gotta go beat Larry's ass again. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm here. I should check it out. My meal just came. And uh, it's uh, it's safe to say that this thing is gonna be gone in record time. So take a look at this thing. It sure does look amazing. So um, it is 5:46 p.m. Let's see how fast I can do this. I'm not gonna rush, but this is supposed to be the second biggest steak. It's a restaurant, so we'll see what happens. Moments later. So we started at 5.46, right, I think? It's 10 minutes later. And this son of a bitch is gone. So, what I'm saying is, is that next time I come here, the 72 ounce steak will be... They said this was supposed to be the second biggest steak. You know, 72 ounce challenge, and then this is the second biggest. 10 minutes, and I'm done? Come on. I got a little bit of grizzle, a little bit of fat. <laughs> That's it? Come on, this is nothing. It was good though. So yeah, so this is what's left over. I gotta be honest with you. I thought for sure it was gonna be bigger and more intimidating. But I put that away in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I know they have a picture out front of what the 72 ounce steak looks like. We have to go see that. Yeah. yeah. Because if I was able to put that away in 10 minutes, I think I might be a real contender for the... Uh, we'll never know. You could have ordered it just to eat it for fun to see if you could have done it. No, you, I didn't, like I said, look at, like I said, people, look at this place. Tuesday evening early. Could you imagine me up there all by myself just picking out? Oh, but he could have ordered it and actually put it on the table and, and, and not be part of the contest. That's yeah, what he said. Guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Did you enjoy your meal? You get some cool pictures? Nah, it was terrible. Uh, it was terrible? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how big was that, would you say? Uh, 48 to 56. Now. 48 to 56? Yeah. So the way that they can't guarantee one size because the way that the, the, the curvature of the cow's bone, it depends on each one. Right. So whenever they're cutting each one, they, they kind of have to, you know, they don't really have a choice now to cut it. Yeah. Bone. Well, I put that thing away in 10 minutes. So 72 yeah. ounce. You could have done it. Yeah. yeah probably. Yeah. Are you still full? Or you could. He just didn't want to sit there. <laughs> I didn't want to sit there all alone. Right? Yeah. I, I, I can that's see a, this yeah. place was A lot of people don't want to do that. A lot of people don't like to do it. But right. If there was somebody like else up there, you know, it would have been no problem. Yeah. I, I told him I would pay for him to do it, but he didn't I want to do it. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> but anyway, would next. You take this with you or do you want to Nah, you can trash it. Yeah, just trash it. Okay. But, uh, uh, we're going to have dessert or dessert? Yeah, wait, wait, yeah. Is it a dessert menu? Yeah, what do you guys got for dessert? We've got chocolate cake. We've got carrot cake, we've got strawberry shortcake, and we've got cheesecake. You can do um, chocolate, caramel, strawberry, cherry, or just regular cheesecake. I want to do regular chocolate cheese, chocolate cake. Chocolate cake? Yeah. Okay. And I'll take the strawberry cheesecake. Can I have a little bit of extra strawberry on it? Strawberry on it. Anyway, so yeah, so like I said, you know, I mean, I keep reiterating it because I'm trying to make sure you guys understand. That it's not like I chickened out or anything like that. I just didn't want to be up there by myself. I, you know, now now that I'm thinking it, I probably should have just done it. But still, it's That's like what I, said. I know, but it's no fun when you're up there all by yourself. You're not up there for fun. You're and then you, you just picture him running around the restaurant, cheering me on. The only one cheering me I on. I would have done it though. I mean, what do you get if you win? I mean, the meal's free. You get like a certificate or something like that. You or get your picture on the wall. And uh, yeah, and, and they'll actually video it, uh, even though you are, and they'll give it to you. I'll tell you what, I'll... I'll it's I'll, the glorified knowing that you ate the 72 ounce steak. That's what you get out of it. Well, next time I could... Well, considering that that was a 46 to 50 something ounce steak that I just ate in 10 minutes, and I'm still not stuffed like you are, and I'm going to have dessert. I had an appetizer. I had mozzarella sticks, the meal, 
and now I'm having dessert. See, I didn't eat breakfast or lunch to prepare for this. Well, the 72 is pure meat, no bone. So that would I been, know, but is the bone huge. considered part of the ounces when they measure it? No. What but the thickness of the steak is. So. Well, yeah, but the, and that was a pretty thick steak. But still, I put it away in 10 minutes. But you're a gobble girl. What can we say? Listen, next time I come here, I'm doing the challenge with or without you. But it's got to have to be on a Friday night, Saturday night, when there's people in here. That way it's fun. It, look, people. Listen to the music. It's real slow and twangy. And it would have been a very boring video to watch. If it was just me up there scarfing away at this meal. You'd have been so into that If meal, there were people here going nuts and cheering, and and when I finished it, like, yeah, you know, it, then it would have been worth YouTube's while. But nobody's going to give a shit if I'm up there pigging out, and I go, and I go, I'm done, and, no one, and everybody's like, mm. <laughs> and you hear fucking crickets. Now he's blaming you guys for not going up there. I'm not blaming them. I just want to give them a good show. And I want it to be done right. He was going to go up there without his pants on and, 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 and yeah. Here, hold on. I got to go. I got to kick his ass for the third time. We'll be right back. He did a steak. He makes up for, with cake. Yeah, seriously. So I wasn't really impressed with the second largest steak they have here at the Big Texan. But they've, they've made up for it in the dessert. Check this thing out. Chocolate cake on steroids with a cup of coffee. So, yeah. So... I had an appetizer, I didn't have a salad, I had the meal, and now I'm having dessert. Mm -hmm. 72 ounce challenge, I, sh I should have just done it, but like I said, it's too cool. I mean, they're over there serenading, there's guys over there serenading people yeah, with the going, violin and stuff. They're going up to Maybe they'll come up to us and serenade us. What do you think? You guys will know because we'll take a... A video of it for sure. Oh, it'll definitely be a video if those guys come up to here and serenade us. I'm gonna tell Larry how much I love him. You know what? He said he can crawl underneath the table. To you know what? I'm gonna go kick his ass for the fourth time. This is getting out of hand now. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Do I have any chocolate on my face? Man, it looked like he was kissing a brown cow. <laughs> Hold on, ladies and I'm gonna kick his ass for the fifth time. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But anyway, so look, so I, al I almost finished the cake. <clears throat> and I know that if I finish it, I'm going to overdo it, and then I'm going to get completely stuffed to the gills. So I'm just going to sit back, and I'm going to enjoy my coffee, and I'm going to let the cake beat me. No, he did a good job on that cake, guys. That was a huge That was a big piece of cake. cake. That cake was bigger than my steak. It was a half a house, a half a roof. The cake was bigger than the steak. Anyway. Yeah, next time you're, you're going to sit up there with me and do it. I'm not doing this shit alone. I can't eat a I don't care. I'll just, just you take the rest to the dogs. You know, that's silly. A 72 ounce thing. I couldn't even finish an 18 ounce thing. That, that's really silly. I don't, go, you know what? I don't even want to hear it. Just go kick your own ass now. Goodbye. We're going to go kick his ass. We'll be right back. All right, so check it out. This is what I would have had to eat, have, have had eaten, to win the challenge. I'm going to tell you personally, if I hadn't eaten the um, appetizer, I think I could have done that. But like I said, I didn't want to do it alone. Just too weird. What do you guys think? They're not saying anything. Well, after a hell of a meal, I'm full. Like I said, think if I didn't have the appetizer and just did the challenge meal I think I would have been able to do it without a problem in under an hour I think I could have done it but I I know I said it like a thousand times in this video but I just didn't want to 
don't do it alone. And my buddy Larry over here. I can't my, do it. My wingman. I, bro, I would have paid for your dinner. I can't do it. I would have. I, yeah, but I know you can't do it. But it still would have been good to have you sitting there with me. They would even so we could laugh answer. at each other and cheer each other on. But you left me hanging, bro. You left me like, you know. Nope. You said nope. You're going to have to go sit up there alone. And I'm like, what? I didn't even know. I didn't even know until he had said something to me. I thought they would have served the meal right there at my table, no problem. But he's like, yeah, you gotta go up there and sit up there alone. I'm like, what? And that's when I was like, wait a minute. I think Larry's more full than I am. I'm stuck. And he didn't even finish his steak. Anyway, but uh, thanks for watching today's video. Epic fail, technically speaking. Tomorrow we're going to be working our way through New Mexico into Arizona. Yeah. So uh, stay tuned for more. We'll see you later. Say goodbye, Larry. Arizona? I'm not going through Arizona. You I'm not even going to touch Arizona. Now, Larry's been driving a truck for 26 oh, years. And he's going to sit there and tell me he's not going through Arizona to get to California. I am going to go through Arizona. What planet are you on today? I'm four tired. Yesterday he said, oh, yeah, Joplin, Ohio. My excuses, I'm tired and full. You know what they say about excuses, right? They're like assholes. Everybody's got them and they stink. Well, what was your excuse for not having that 72 ounce steak? I said it a million times in this video. I didn't want to do it alone. This is here, you, 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 you. I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. He says he's speechless. Comment below. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Call it what you want. I didn't want to do it alone. Simple as that. I didn't want to be like a weirdo up there in a very quiet, som somber, somber restaurant. If it, like I said, if it was a Friday night and I was alone and the place was all rowdy and shit. Yeah, but you're a weirdo anyway, so where does it matter where you said to be a weirdo? I know. Story of my life. Oh. Alright, we're out of here. This is bullshit. We gotta go, people. See you later.